It's delivery day. I wonder what could have arrived today. Well, uh, I was looking at this new product in the Pi Hut. This uh, 1.3 IPS LCD display module, 240 by 240. Sounds very much like the um, display in the Pico Explorer. Um, but this was a good price, £8 I thought. So here it is. It's a pleasure. <laughs> okay, well, wasn't expecting it to be that big. Okay, made by Waveshare. Nicely packaged. So that looks nice, now, depending on which way we use it, little joystick might be useful for something I'm working on and for tack buttons and looking at the back of it, Pico LCD 1.3 Waveshare. So I've not seen anything else by Waveshare, that doesn't mean that they've not made it. If we look at here, they've got some online resources. Um, bit worried it said there online resources in C haven't had much fun with C I'm getting my uh, tool chain to build on the Mac but let's not go there yeah this website there's some demo code so I downloaded some of that code and the nice thing was it actually had a UF2 file on it so I have put the UF2 file directly onto this Pico so I better unplug it first hopefully this is nice it says USB at the top so let's hope it goes in this way. One would think it would, and one would think it didn't need the headers the other way around, but uh, this might be a very short video, if that's the case. So the nice thing about uh, this, when I looked at the code set, it did actually have some, it's not just C, it's got C stuff there, but it's also got um, Pico LCD 1.3. It's got a little uh, Python thing on there and a readme. What's the readme say? Here's the file to make use of this routine. All right, so that's got some wiring on it. Copy the UF2 in the Python directory. I've done that. Um, open the IDE, select tools, options, MicroPython. I've already got that. Open that one. All right, so let's go to Thunny and open that directory. Let's open that. So normal things that we'd expect on there. It's got a frame buffer, which is good and the SPI stuff as well. So I assume we can just run this. Let's plug it in and see whether anything lights up first. Okay, nothing lights up immediately. Can I connect to it? Yep, so I've got a, I've got a connection there, that's useful. So let's just try running it and see if it does anything. Oh, excellent. All right, so clear little screen there, some squares on it. I wonder if each of these buttons, yeah. So each of those buttons, oh, and it gives us feedback on the uh, on the shell as well, that's useful. So each of those buttons light up and I assume it's similar to that as well. Okay, so just a little bit of code here. We've got the frame buffer. Uh, it talks to this SPI, SPI's communication interface for the screen and lots of write datas, don't really know what they do, show self, uh, here's the main, so LCD fill rect, alright so it looks like we should be able to just run some other things on it as well, so maybe uh, I could port something, one of my other programs on here, what's a good square one, maybe my flappy bird I could put on there. But just a little brief introduction to this chip. It seems quite nice, very reasonably priced, £8. Yeah, so what was this called again? This was the Pico LCD 1.3 from Waveshare. Uh, maybe that's something I'll experiment with in the future. It might be that this board is, is better for some of the gaming features that I've been trying to do than the um, Pico Explorer because... It doesn't have all of the other interfaces in. Definitely, I could need a joystick um, for something that I'm thinking of doing at the moment. So I might try and port something to this, see how that goes. And uh, 
maybe do some different programming on this little device as well. A nice little screen there.